So two huge Fire Stick apps have been removed and unavailable on your Fire Stick's Fire TVs. We want to find out what's going on. I'm going to run you through it and I need your help on this one as well. I need to know if they're available for you to download. Um, I will need to know if you still have them, if you've got them installed already, if you're a previous user of these apps. And I want your thoughts on it underneath. Then I will share you a little bit of insight from what I've known and what I've found out. So what's going on? If you want to keep up to date with the latest streaming stuff, news, Fire 6 devices, do hit that follow button and that subscribe. And obviously regular watchers, I really appreciate your feedback underneath. So there's a couple of apps on your Fire Stick which can be installed, which are great tools to keep your devices running quickly and fast. So you may have heard of these before. If you search Tech Doctor UK, um, another YouTuber, on your Fire Stick, there's an app killer and a cache cleaner. One for me, obviously, is an app killer. App killer is a great app which kills all your background apps, all the ones in the background, the processes and what's running for you, okay, called app killer. And what I found yesterday, because I was adding it onto my device, as you'll see there underneath, it says unavailable. This is strange. Um, I paid for it in the past. I've had it on all my devices. And then I looked at the cache cleaner, not that I use the cache cleaner. It also says unavailable. So what's going on here? Now on a Fire Stick, you can also look at your compatible devices. So I clicked on that and I looked at, <laughs> I've got many Fire TV devices around. All the ones I've got set up and they all have a cross next to it saying these devices aren't compatible anymore. So I can't install it onto a Fire Stick or a Fire TV device. So after seeing Tech Doctor UK's video yesterday, it seems on a lot of newer updates, they have disabled the ADB debugging command, which means Apps like this one, the Tech Doctor UK App Killer, cannot make that connection to kill all the apps in the background. Um, ADB shells having the same issue. Um, obviously, the cache cleaner works in the same way. It makes a connection to your ADB, and then it can do its process behind the scenes to delete this. Okay, so some people who have it installed, if you have it installed already, let me know if it's working for you and what version of Fire TV Stick you're on. So how do you know what version of Fire Stick you're on? If you go to your settings, Go to my Fire TV, go to about, and in here what you will see is your Fire TV version. Mine is Fire OS 8.1.0.2. This version it is not working on. So let me know on your one whether it's working or not. This is the latest Fire TV Stick Max. I hear there's an updated version of Fire OS 7 it's not working on, and the latest version of Fire OS 8. Okay, I'm sure this is just a little mishap because of the ADB debugging tool is very useful for developers to create apps and to test apps. And obviously we have it in the developer options and we need it to work. So I can't install these apps on my device anymore. Okay, so you, what you're gonna do as well, you're all gonna search for me, Tech Doctor UK. The app killer and the cache cleaner are unavailable. Okay, unavailable to install. If you are a regular user of this and you still have it on your device, like I say, let me know if it works. If you need something similar for now, the background apps and processes list is still working. Um, I did a video on this yesterday on how to use it, so I'll link that video underneath as a backup for those who normally use the Tech Doctor app. The good thing about the Tech Doctor app is it's one click. So it closes all the background apps in one click, whereas with the background one, you have to go through one by one. A little bit slower, but still good. Okay, still good. Brilliant. Um, that was a real quick video for you. I just wanted to know your thoughts on that because they've both been removed. We need to find out why. I'm sure Tech Doctor is working in the background to get them back on there and I'll keep you up to date when they are. So let me know if they're working for you and I'm going to keep an eye out if there's been any other apps removed. We've had some issues and weird um, activities with Downloader over the last few days. Um, there's been some weird movements um, with some other apps as well and connection issues. So we'll see what's being changed and what isn't. Okay. So if you are a regular watcher here, like I say, appreciate your thoughts and help and let me know in the comments if you're having the same issues. Also, remember to subscribe if you're brand new here. Check out the rest of the channel. I'll be back tomorrow with a new device video, which I can't wait to get finished. And you'll enjoy that one as well. For anybody who's having these issues with Fire 6, Fire TVs, may want to change to something different. We've got a few options coming up this week for you because we're going to test out some new devices. So hit that follow button. Let me know your thoughts. If you need a VPN, we'll link that underneath for you as well. And I'll see you soon.